Hello everyone, welcome to Hill Studios again. Now we can just observe right now. I have just a door kind of structure, and we have our ball right now, which is rolling towards us. I added a rigid body to this particular uh, wall kind of structure. Now uh, what I am trying to tell you is like hinge joint. We are going to tell talk about hinge joint right now. When you are thinking of a door, or when you are thinking of a car door kind of stuff, when pressure is when force is being exerted at a particular point or a particular anchor point. at that particular point we just need to use hinge joint if you can just observe right now that i keep the ball is coming right now the entire structure is moving not it is not fixed on one side and it is not moving around just like a door does right door is fixed on one edge and it is moving from the other edge but this thing is not moving something like that it is just moving throughout the entire structure so we are going to use hinge joint and we are going to solve this problem right now let us try to add hinge joint right Okay, guys. Now we added a hinge joint. Let's try to hit play, and we will see what will happen right now. And uh, now the now the spear is moving right now. But when you can uh, when you can observe, like uh, the particular plane is uh, exhibiting some kind of motion, but it is being exhibited at a particular point, which is not where a door behaves. So what I need to do is I just need to change the reference point to something like uh, left side or right side of this particular door. now you can observe some options like anchor or axis so i can set the axis of y because i need to make sure it moves around y axis and now if i set it from y axis actually now you can observe a lot of difference actually now it starts moving around y axis which is great but that particular anchor point is in the center of the y axis actually center of a plane we just need to be either on the left or right so i'll just move it to the left so we can just see the anchor option there we just need to change that particular anchor option we just need to change the z value right there so if you change the z value uh, then it will be moving to that particular side and you can obtain that one and uh, you can also see options such as auto configure connected x just leave it like that because it is going to auto configure itself on how to adjust a particular uh, y axis so we don't we don't need to look at that one and uh, i am just keeping it as 0.49 and i will also try to adjust uh, g value okay now i adjust it to a side i just adjusted the anchor to a particular side now you can just see right now mm, yep it is moving at a particular position but it is co continuously moving on and moving on so what we need to do is right now we just need to adjust the limits of this particular one but before adjusting the particular limits i want to talk about break force and break torque in this particular hinge joint actually when we apply when a, when the spear applied a force on that particular plane if you want the hinge joint to destruct itself then you need to write how much force like if it's, if you write break force as 10 and if spear exits 20 then hinge joint will get destructed and the body becomes like uh, a rigid body okay i hope you get it what i am saying right now because you already watched the previous video i am hoping that one so and let us go to limits and there is minimum and maximum value now i'm going to change the i'm going to adjust the minimum and maximum value and i'm going to come back to you again okay guys i'm adjusting minimum and maximum you can also observe the first option edit angular limit you can just see the first option there yeah you what you can do is you can just adjust that particular option to make me sure like you can just set the starting limit and ending limit on which the object should rotate for the default one it is like 360 degrees limit so that is why it is moving in a 360 degrees so now what you can do is you just need to adjust that particular uh, angular limits and uh, you can just make sure like it rotates at a particular point okay just start adjusting the edit angular limits actually and you can just make sure like it is following some 90 degrees path so that it is uh, exactly following the door motion right now and uh, just hit on play then uh, you would definitely know I like whether it will working or not so i'll just hit out hit play right now and we will see what will happen so hit play yes now it is working like a door exactly and we also fix the angle limit issues also now you now one just one thing that i have to say like there are so many options in this one like a spring options also so first of all if you want to use the spring there will be a boolean attribute like use the spring just enable that one many people forgot that one so i just enable that one and increase the spring value to 10.34 and you can just see like door come back to its original position you can change that original position by the by setting the target position actually if you set the target position if you set the target position something like 45 the spring will come back to 45 you can just observe the door right now you can see it comes back to the original position 
you can also it is acting like a spring right now you can set the damping value all of this kind of stuff i just disable spring right now and you can use the limits also maximum value minimum value bounce minimum and you can also use motor motor is like adding a fixed force kind of stuff and uh, you can learn more about the motor uh, in the document documents actually mm, you can use motor and you can use target velocity force whatever you want on this one making sure like uh, it reaches this particular position see it is moving at a slow speed if i get it like at slow velocity it will be moving at a faster speed if i get it, give it faster force so you can check it out like that and this is about hinge joint and uh, in the last two videos we learned about uh, fixed joint we learned about hinge joint we learned about spring joint both of them are very essential and both of them plays a critical part in game physics actually so i hope you guys got some value out of this and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you guys